go back to that little mountain shack where I know she'll be waiting there for me. I can see her smiling face standing at that gate. That little girl of mine in Tennessee. Well, the girl of mine in Tennessee. so much. Really appreciate the, the nice applause there. And, uh, hopefully uh, we'll have something lined out that you can enjoy with me uh, Southern Express here tonight. Yeah, here's a tune I'm sure you'll recognize. It goes like this right here. One, two. I read an ad in Chicago Sunday paper semi-driver needed bad. Oh, then I said I'd like to see the foreman. And I told him all the experience that I had. He said, son, you're just the man I need. He handed me the keys and shook my hand. Pointed to the truck, he said, I'll see you. Now I take that low steel to burn the hair. Sun and got started, put it in a gear and started backing up. Tried every way to get it going forward, but I ain't never drove a big old truck. And if I keep it up, I'll finally make it. And I bet I'm the first truck driving man that ever left Chicago in semi. Josh Graves wrote that tune, Back in the Birmingham, something we recorded on a brand new CD that just came out this uh, past year, and we're mighty proud of the new music. We're going to bring uh, Steve up to do a little fiddling for you right now. This is a tune that uh, was written by Howdy Forrester that played with Flat and Scrubs for many years. He also, he's on CD too, y'all. Uh, a little, little story about Howdy Forrester. Uh, he played with Hank Williams Sr., guys, did y'all know that? And, uh, and he got called off to the war. And I don't know how many of you folks remember Red Johnson that used to play with uh, Southern Star many years ago. Red passed away this past uh, February at age 92 in Plant City. And uh, what a career he had. But when Howdy Forrester was drafted during the war, Red took his spot with Hank Williams and played throughout the war years. Uh, Howdy survived and came back and Red lost his job. 
So, <laughs> good, good story about that. He wrote this tune. This entitled The Wild Fiddler's Rag. Thank you. 